Okay, it says my video is done. I get that. <laughs> Hello, Rise of Visionaries. I'm Susan May, and I'm here to share my random ramblings and anything that goes through my brain to inspire you to tune into your intuition and begin your journey of unplugging. Whew, it's Sunday. I am feeling alive. I love weekends. Um, I have more energy and I have more time because my husband's not working. And so today I'm at work for at least an hour or two. I showered and washed my hair and my daughter braided my hair beautifully. I put a nice shirt on and it just feels good. I love it. I'm like so excited to be at work in our office. Um, and I have so many thoughts swirling through my head this morning that I'd love to share with you all. Um, and I think I have found a way to present them um, in a way that makes sense and that can kind of lead you through. So um, you all know this book of mine that my friend Deanna, she died this year in January. She gave it to me last year during the pandemic and I went, I've already gone through it once and I'm going through it again. I look at it every, almost every day and if not, I catch up every week. So today's quote is here. We have so much time and so little to do. Strike that, reverse it, roll doll. And again, I was shocked when I opened my book up just a few minutes ago and read this quote because I had had a story in my head that I wanted to share with you all that's like exactly on point with this quote. Um, so last year, my family was strongly considering moving, which we did not end up moving from Virginia to Florida, um, but we were even exploring the idea of moving out of the country. Um, it felt that drastic to us that maybe we needed to do that. And someone that loves us very much was very unhappy with us for exploring this idea and especially me. Um, and I remember I was at a point where I just felt I didn't even want to fight with the person. I didn't have the energy. I didn't um, I love them very much and I didn't want it to harm our relationship. But I just remember thinking, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for the drama. I don't have time to spend arguing about this because it was something that Mike and I needed to do. We needed to explore that option and we were looking at all kinds of options. And so what ended up happening is that it worked out. This person that I love very much and I, we navigated it. Um, we had conversations both directly and indirectly about it and things worked out. And so the reason I'm bringing that story up is that idea of like, what do you have time for? What are you putting your time and energy into? Um, and that's like, you know, for me, I woke up and I'm so excited to go to work, to work on this project, this Rise Up with Susan May community and um, just sharing what has worked for me in my past and how I know that can help so many people as we navigate these times because my family has done these things that I know if you do them first of all I know you can do them because I know so many people are scared to do them they're scared of unplugging from the mainstream education system they're scared to unplug from mainstream medicine um, and the thing that they do remain plugged into the corporate press or mainstream media we're gonna call it corporate press now they continue to stay plugged into that and that's what propagates the fear that they can't unplug. So really unplugging from that one first is so important. Um, so I just like really feel refocused on my purpose and, and how I can help people. And I've been getting such clear messages because people have been reaching out to me in private discussion and it's reaffirming for me that you know, back in May when I had all these ideas flood me about how I can help, how I can use my experiences, it's being reaffirmed for me and telling me, you know, what I need to focus on and that maybe I'm not presenting to people. For example, unschooling. I did a video yesterday about unschooling and I don't always think to talk about that a lot because it is so natural for my family and something we do every day. And that is something I need to share more about. Um, so another thing is that like, 
when you start shifting your energy and spending your time on the things that feed you, that bring you alive, that inspire you, um, you automatically begin making those shifts and other people will feel it. So for example, I'm creating this community and trying to help people and it would be completely hypocritical for me to continue in habits that I'm trying to get people to change. And so I have noticed that I am naturally shifting my habits because of, because of me speaking this, because of me writing it. It's getting into my subconscious and it's changing my habits. So I am spending so much more time on inspirational sources rather than informational. There's a difference between something that, you know, when you're seeking information and answers and what's the truth and what's right versus something that inspires you to create in your life. Um, so last night I watched my good friend Bex and her partner Oliver, they have a website called Soul Energies and they were talking about spirit guides, which, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, it's very woo. Um, I know some people may be like, what are spirit guides? But for me, all of these things, um, we use language, okay, to express ideas and often like someone who maybe is very, has a very deep Christian faith or another religion even, you know, maybe it's uh, Judaism or Islam, um, the words that we use often are saying the same thing. So when I hear them talking about spirit guides, I know it's what I have been doing in my life. I am literally each day waking up and getting still and listening and saying, what do I need to do today? And I'm not going to some outside source. There's a voice inside of me that says, okay, you should do this today. You should do this today. You should... That's what Bex and Oliver are talking about when they talk about spirit guides, that we're open to the signs in our life, whether you want to call that God or the universe or your spirit guides, that we're open to those messages. Um, so there's one source. This morning, I listened to Lori Ladd, and I really want to share this video that she made. Um, I think it was today or yesterday, and she talked about choice, voice, and love. And it was amazing. It was a beautiful, beautiful message. And again, it's about creating. What do we want to create in the world versus um, being reactionary to what's going on? Um, so tuning into our intuition. And then these other messages I'm getting are from the private messages. I've been getting messages from people about vitamin C, about homeschooling and unschooling. Had a great phone conversation with someone last night that reached out to me, just really needing someone to listen to them and to... Um, affirm that they can do what they want to do and I am going to be referring them to my amazing friend uh, Laura Swain who um, she has a business learning with Laura Swain and she is an incredible resource for homeschoolers so I'm getting these messages okay Susan you need to share more about this you need to share more about this and it keeps me focused um, so getting really plugging into inspirational sources versus informational is huge for me right now I think that's everything. So just in that vein, what will be coming up is um, this week, I think one of my lives, I'm going to talk about the tale of two flus, which I have like a whole thing to tell you about, about um, two illnesses my family had. And um, again, it will be about vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C, I have two people that I am really excited to interview soon and do another interview and get that posted up on my YouTube page, um, who have been key influences on me and my family getting our vitamin C um, practice in place. And oh, and for the unschooling, I have a, a whole, um, I basically want to share the stories of my two children and, and their journey learning to read. Um, so that's some stuff you can look forward to. Um, I hope this video finds you well and that you're doing something creative with your time or connecting with people that you love because we do not have time. We do not have time for the division. We don't have time to be living in fear. We need to make the shift into love and um, we can't start a second, uh, you know, we need to start now. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Um, please like my Rise Up with Susan Page, if you Susan May Page, if you haven't, you can find me on YouTube and subscribe there. And please share anything that inspires you, whether it's privately or publicly, so that all the good vibes and love can begin to spread like wildfire. And did I forget anything? Oh, cannot forget this. Be bold, be brave, be you. Because who else is there to be? 
i love you all and i'll see you soon. bye.